nothing. You hung up, okay? No, 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 Bo. Wait, please, I have to tell you something, something that I can't tell Clint. Tell Clint this, or you just can't look him right in the eye, I think. Things that are a lot more important than your little problem. Look, oh, wait, please. It's about Vicky. It's very confidential, all right? And I don't think Clint needs to be any more upset than he is. Oh, wait. Now, all of a sudden, are you all concerned about Clint's feelings in there? I always have been. That's why I want to tell you instead of him. All right, go ahead. What is it? The first shift to promise me you're not going to go in there. No promises. All right. All right, I think I know where Vicky was last night. We all know where Vicky was last night. She was in New York. She came right back here to land there. No, I think she stopped up somewhere in between. Like somewhere to unwind and relax. Uh, like Elmo. Harrisburg? Vicky? Come on, give me a break. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Vicky, and I think maybe somebody followed her from there. Maybe even the kidnapper. Why would Vicky be there? Just a hunch, all right? All right, I was there with her once, okay? You took Vicky to Elmo's? Well, she wanted to have some fun and she wanted I gotta so, tell Clint about No, no, you can't tell him about that. Look, you know how he feels about her? He thinks Vicky is so, so dignified and so perfect. How would he feel if he found out that she'd been hanging out at Elmo's? Oh, you're right, you're right. He should never know anything like that. But she's been kidnapped. Tina, we're trying to trace down every place she might have been last night. I know, but I could check out Elmo's. You? Yeah, I thought oh. I... I drive to Harrisburg tonight, and, and I could look around, you know, see what I could pick up. Yeah, see what you could pick up. Information. We don't have to drag Clint into this, do we? Come on. What are you doing? Just come with me. 